Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Actually, I need to be welcoming myself back, huh? <laughs> anyway, I got something I wanted to share with y'all, man. Uh, I'm doing okay. I finally gotten everything where I need to get it as far as uh, in my in my new dwelling of a of a car wash bay slash shop area. Uh, I'll start making videos again now soon, soon because uh, no stress, no worries, no mess in the background. We ought to be good. And uh, my son, he's uh, he's fixing to try to land a, a, a damn good job at one of these companies. I don't know if it's going to be painting cars or working at Lockheed. And Lockheed is like a uh, a military base place. They build uh, planes and, and stuff to go to war with and helicopter i don't know i don't think they do the helicopters bell helicopter does that over there but anyway here it is man uh i'll tell you a little story while i'm showing it to you i know this old woman i've actually helped her fix this car a bunch of times I me mean, personally uh i think i did a couple of things on it one time but basically she bought it brand new dad there and it's a 2002 and she bought it brand new and she just uh and it's pretty 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 straight right i mean i don't see any spot but except right there in that other spot that i showed you and right here where the paint's peeling you know typical bumper cover crap you know I really ain't in love with that hood. I'm gonna try to find me a nice scoop to go on it, or or another another decal uh, cal uh, induction hood. I can't believe this. I'm gonna have to shut the camera off just so I can get in the damn thing. Ain't that something? I can't get in it because <laughs> it's locked. Damn it! Oh man! Oh man! Give me a minute. We'll just leave you rolling. It ain't gonna take you long. Okay, we're back. Anyway, I guess it was the straw that broke the camel's back on this one and what made her uh, make the decision not to keep the truck, keep the truck, keep this car anymore is because she hired somebody to come in here and fix the radio and this is how they fixed it you know now, that was my radio that I just happened to have in the back but uh try not to hit no buttons here this is what they did they cut the wires instead of buying the little you know the little plug that goes on it and it, it makes it possible for you to put your own you know wire your own stuff up to it like that one this was for a Chevy I believe I went and bought one of these instead of cutting the wires in the vehicle it makes perfect sense you know don't screw yourself because now uh, it's screwed to where you're gonna have to go chase down the wire and specs you know the wiring diagram on on one of these things you got to look it up online find out what the each wire goes for before you can move on uh because it it caused the the windshield wipers to short out and you know <laughs> quit working so she was just done with it she says i'm done with it i'm just done and that and the the, the dude ripped decided he was going to rip the carpet out to run the wires you know he was trying to run the wires and oh let me let me show you this one <laughs> i thought this was a classic you know, the speaker was having a little problem staying on the cover, was popping off, so, you know, he thought he was just going to run some screws to the front of it. <laughs> but anyway, it has 120,000 miles on it. The top is, is flawless. I mean, it is perfect on the inside and out. There ain't nothing wrong with the top except for, you know, there's a switch that I'm diagnosing right now. I, I did snap it apart and i'm gonna fix them to take a tester and and see if it's getting contact there and uh probably unplug the motor in the back and all the relays and see if i get continuity 
see if any of the wires are shortened together make sure each wire is, is a standalone but uh all in all it's a decent ride man i mean you know she's pretty decent i need to replace this seat that i'm under you know right here replace the, the cover you know i think it's like 150 dollars to take care of that you know just have them recover it um so you know she said do you want to buy it i said sure how much you want to sell it to me for she says well how's 500 dollars i'm like sweet I thought to myself man it's she really she could probably get like 1500 for it or something or go to the junkyard and get the just get this part you know get the trim just make it cosmetically look better you know so 1500 dollars um i think it's well worth i mean uh 500 dollars uh, i think it's well worth 500 dollars and uh she runs like a dream uh i love it i really do uh i want to take it and flip it a uh, clutch my son he wants to keep it, but then again, he wants to keep anything you buy. He wants to keep the truck that I got. Do you know that 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 uh, 1993 uh, Chevy truck? Uh, that's up in the works. Uh, we found a short box uh, Chevy truck just like it, except that you don't have a title. You can't, you know, just don't have a title to it. And I think it's got something with the. Uh, out of state or some crap with it and it, it's just a pain in the ass to try to get a title for it so we're going to take and take the cab off of this long bed over here and put it on a short wheelbase frame and just roll the cab off and stick it on there the body is a lot straighter so we we got that in the works but he wants to keep that one and then the 200 sx that that i just got uh my wife's loving it and uh she's uh she's she's uh doing good in it but we still got to replace we got to start replacing struts and stuff like that you know it's uh just it was it was owned by one person same as this one this is a one owner car i just think it's awesome that i got so lucky i mean basically all i gotta do is paint this thing and uh i think i'm gonna put some craters on it <laughs> i don't know man is it me is it just me am i just going overboard with it but craters look good on anything you can stick craggers on a damn station wagon and it'll make it look wow <laughs> it'll turn your station wagon into a hot rod quick <laughs> the motor might be smoking it looks like hell primer all over it dents everywhere put some craggers on it wow look at that <laughs> but but don't drop it at low and, and slam it remember that car i just made on the last video how they slammed that thing i'll tell you what uh I'll do you an update on that one. I asked the guy. He seen my video. He says, "No, I ain't hating on you, dude." He says, "But uh, to tell you the truth, I, I forget. It's over there in the Philippines or wherever it was like in the, uh, you know, the Chinese. I forget they call them certain kind of people. That's uh, you know, they got slanted eyes and stuff like that. I'm not, pelt, I'm not trying to be. Uh, what do you call being racist or something? But there's a certain name they call them. Uh, Orientals. Oriental people. It was somewhere in the Orientals, all across over there. It, the the further you have your tires slammed out like that, the more respectful, the more respect you get from the community. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because they think you're poor or something. Can't fix your car. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's why you get. They feel sorry for you. <laughs> Somebody misconstrued that one. If y'all if y'all get a chance, y'all y'all let me know uh, how that how that is true or not. Um, let's see if I can do that. Hello, hello, Geisen. His name is Geisen. His name in, uh, I think, uh, Chinese or something like that is, is, is named Color of Three. That's what Geisen means. Because he's got three different colors on him. Anyways, this is the, the truck that I was going to take and uh, make, just take the cab off. You see how it's all beat to hell, man? I mean, both sides just weathered away. This, this thing's got original 80,000 miles on it. And uh, I got a five-speed transmission down there, and my son has gotten everything he needs. A pressure plate. I'm telling y'all, I mean, y'all have been waiting for a good minute for me to start making videos. Well, it's time now to where he saved up all his money, and he's bought things like a flywheel, a pressure plate, a throwout bearing, and all that stuff for it for us. I think it's a, I think it is under here. Let's see. Got to cover that up. Move. Y'all move. 
Now that's the that's the transmission that came out of it. That one's burnt up. We put a 350 turbo in place. It will bolt in, but <laughs> it, it it does not have a speedometer because it's not compatible. But here it is. There it is. Five speed. And that's what we're gonna put in there. But he went and he went and you know saved his money, and uh, he he's got all that together. But uh, I can't wait to turn it into a short a short bed, you know. And. Uh, It was a farm truck, is what it was, and uh, you see all these spots all over it. You know where the look at that. These are where they had literally stickers and stickers. See, look, stickers and all kinds of stickers and stickers and more stickers and just stupid ass stickers, man. I never seen somebody put so many stupid ass stickers on a vehicle in my life. But it never did reach the open road, man. It stayed on the it stayed on the uh, farm. So those low miles, I had to have it. It's a it's a it's a V6, so that's what we're gonna do. Is that's in the works, and then there's my C10 over there. That's charging the battery on her. I was just curious, y'all. Maybe y'all can maybe y'all can let me know in the comments below uh, if uh, if Craigers. I could just borrow him for a little while. You know how you borrow somebody's shoes? <laughs> Somebody says gross. <laughs> But I want to borrow Louise's tires. I want to borrow these Craigers and see if they'll fit. Because they're Uno lugs, they're Universal lugs. I want to see if they fit on uh, Ford. Uh, I'm just curious. Because if they do fit, I'm just going to borrow them for a little while. I want to put them on that Mustang, put a paint job on them, and just run them for a little while. Just for a little while. Till I. Until I get, you know, <laughs> get my frills, you know, get your jollies out of the deal. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will catch y'all later. And uh, good things are happening, man. It's, it's, it's like finally, right at the last minute when I go to leave that other place, I was fixing to pack all my stuff and move it all back over here and just give up and, and have a shop back over here. Got that other shop. Uh, he, uh, he, he he said, man, why don't why you, why you got to move all? I said, well, because it's just all good, all good and bad things must come to an end. You know, I got to move on down the road. And he, he said, well, dude, I, I might need some help over here. You can, you can, you know, have that wash bay here and do whatever you want. Just mow the grass. So that is luck, you know. Uh, I'm blessed for that. Anyway, I'll catch y'all till next time. Man, that sure is pretty. I love it. Keeping it straight, keeping it real. Limster out.